In a town like High River, who was devastated by a flood in 2013, the people are coming back. The producers are starting to make things again. With Olsen Silver, who's been doing exactly that, supporting the community, and we're so glad we can tell this story. How are you doing, Rick? Good, yourself? Good, man. We're after some buckles for the two cowboys and a camera. You guys are one of the only two buckle manufacturers in this part of the world. We're the biggest in Western Canada, for sure. You're the third generation. Yeah. How did that happen? My stepdad's father started the company back in 1968, so he was a saddle maker. And he was very interested in all the silver trim that goes on saddles. And my stepdad said, come on down to the shop. From 13 on, I started working. There's five people here full time. And here it's a young team because most of what happens in this type of line of business at the moment seems to be the artisans are dying out. Well, it's great because we got local kids. After the flood, we found a couple of brothers that came in here and they're young. And, and once you get good people, you want to keep them. Like Lan has been here for 33 years. This is where it starts here, right here. We design everything on computer and talk back and forth with the customer until we get something perfect for them. This is Ethan, and this is Ethan's office. Once he gets the design from Teresa, once we get set up with what we want, he brings it up on the screen here, and we'll make our components. This is heavy. Yeah, it's a piece of silver there, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> then they come over to here. There's a rope that we're gonna put on the outside of the buckle. So we'll get them over here, and this is where we silver solder the pieces together. So they're actually stuck together. After that, then we will come back, we'll get the buckle cleaned up, we'll buff and polish it, then it comes over to Talana's. Talana's been doing this for? 33 years. There must be a lot of skill going into this. Oh, a huge amount of skill, yes. M <laughs> more than I got. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the jewelry part. This is the embellishment. This is where the hand does most of the work. Yes. Yeah. Very intricate, very time consuming, and very beautiful, honestly. How much care do you have to take of your buckle when you get something like this? Or does it depend on the material that you have? No, really, the nickel and the bronze and the silver and the gold, they wear equally. They're made to be worn. I mean, people bring buckles in just to have us clean them up that are 35 years old. And they look as good now as they did then. Now after they're painted, they come out here and we wrap them in tissue paper and we put them in boxes. How far has your buckles traveled in the world? I've sent them to Australia, to Kuwait, to uh, Switzerland, New Zealand, yes, for bull riding in New Zealand, yes. So any Kiwis are watching this thing, this is where your bull riding buckles come from. How come buckles for a young fellow like you? How come buckles? That's a good question. I didn't really know this place existed until I started working here after the flood, actually. I had a huge passion for Western movies and just Americana kind of stuff like that, and buckles just fit right into it. It was an ad in a paper. It didn't even say what it was for. It just said somebody that's sort of ambidextrous and can draw floral designs. And I went, well, I can do that. So I doodled all over my application and I got a phone call and they brought me in and said, sit down and see what you can do with this. And I didn't even know what it was. What do you like the most about the job here? Just making stuff with my hands all day long. I've always loved the idea of handcraft and be able to see the whole process and to have a touch in it. It's kind of a perfect fit. But any time that I've gone to a stampede, I always have a quiet giggle to myself and go, oh, there's one of ours. <laughs> We're the rare few that still appreciate the lost art. We get the odd one that's a little difficult, but you have to keep in mind that people are spending a lot of money on these and it's something they're going to have for a lot of years, so you want to make sure you get it right for them. What's the base part of your business? Interacting with the customers and coming up with something unique that they cherish and are proud to wear. This is what we're talking about when you support local people. This is a story we definitely enjoy telling because you guys are going to make us look awesome. I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole idea. If you buy local, if you can give a local company support, this is what it's all about. And then these fellas can make more buckles like these for, how many years have you done it so far? Almost 50. 50? Almost 50. Another 50 to go? Another 50 to go. That's right. Generation <laughs> six coming up. That's right. Awesome. Man, thank you very much. We're going to enjoy this. This is going to travel the world. Come with us so we see how people make things.